Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lazelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I've got the warm, smoky, golden, coppery, orangey toned eye going on, which I actually really like. Like that lid though is popping. And speaking of popping, as you guys can see, I have added a little pop of color to the inner corner of my eyes. I was actually super inspired by this packaging right here. Yes, this is of course the ever so lusted after Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter, which was a mission for me to get my hands on. And because it is so limited edition, I like try not to use it as much. I know that sounds stupid, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's like that. So yeah, that is pretty much what inspired this look that I have going on today. Also, that and the fact that I just had to use this thing. If you guys haven't seen it, I did do like my first impressions unboxing on this baby right here, the ever so lusted after Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And ever since I used it in that video, I have been hooked. So yeah, I just wanted to sit down and just play with the colors that I wanted to play with. I mean, yes, it's full of all these beautiful pops of color, but all those warm neutrals were just like screaming my name, so I had to use them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any more videos I post. And yeah, that's everything. So let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, we're gonna be kicking things off with the face today. I have a couple of like little red marks left over from pimpies that decided to visit me during my weekend for the most part they faded quite nicely but I just want to get my face done and out of the way so first of all I'm going to prime using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer it's been a hot minute since I've used this primer but it is amazing if you want your face to glow and today I'm just in that kind of mood that I just want to be beaming I'm just using the Real Techniques stippling brush to kind of just brush that evenly all over my face Oh my goodness, my face is beaming, you guys. I totally forgot like how intense this primer is, but I know some people like to just apply it in the places that they want to highlight, like their cheekbones or whatnot, but today I just want to put it all over my face. So yeah, <laughs> I would just wear this on an everyday basis and leave the house, like just that primer and I'd be good to go. Like I just, I don't know, I really like to glow. So this is really doing something for me. Anyways, moving on to foundation now. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I'm firstly going to go ahead and kind of paint that onto my face in a sense. I'm using the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation brush. I totally forgot like how good of a foundation this is. Too Faced Born This Way is always like, a go-to foundation like you can use it and it will always turn out good on your skin so now that the foundation is blended in I'm going to do some color correcting I like to use the LA girl pro conceal this is actually a concealer but it's also in a peachy color so technically I guess it's a corrector but as you can see I'm just applying this underneath my eyes just a little swipe to each and I'm using the models prefer airbrush concealer brush to blend it in for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The one that I'm using is in light medium. And I'm just going to go ahead and dot that underneath my eyes. This concealer is intense, guys. Like, it's very extra, over-the-top, <laughs> intense. So a little definitely does go a long way when it comes with the Tarte Shape Tape. Anyways, now that that's all blended in, I'm going to go ahead and set. So I'm using the Australis Ready, Set, Go setting powder. You guys know how much love I have for this powder. Props to Astralis for coming out with something that does not only set the under eye but prevents any creasing from occurring no matter what concealer you use. To set the rest of my face, I just want to go ahead and use the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. I feel like I've been using this powder so much lately, like pretty much every video that I've done for the past month I've been using this powder. But now I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get started on the eyes. Honestly, there's no other palette in my collection that I want to be using right now. I'm obsessed. Before I do go dive into those shadows, I need to put a base on my lid. So I'm going with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly apply that to my lids with the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. And then I'm just going to quickly set it in place with some more of that Astralis Finishing Powder. Super important to set your base in place because if you don't, you will have trouble later on when it comes to blending out your eyeshadows. So to start things off, I'm going to firstly hit my crease with some of the Creamsicle shade. I'm absolutely in love with this shadow. I think it is absolutely stunning. So 
such a beautiful shade and it works with my particular skin tone really nicely. So yeah, this is going to act as my first transitional crease shade. So next up, I'm just going to be going in with this shade right here. This is Roxanne, and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. What I'm going to do is apply this in my crease again, but I'm really going to stick it in there, <laughs> if that makes sense, just to really help define that crease area. I'm just going back in with the blending brush that I used to apply that first shade, Creamsicle. Whatever is left on the brush is just what I use to kind of blend through the crease so everything's all nice and meshed together. I'm going to take the shade Mocha and I'm using just another Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer brush and again I'm just going to run that through my crease just to further deepen it up a little more. Always remember that when you are applying eyeshadows less is more so you want to start out with a little bit and then if you feel like you need to deepen things up or add a little more here and there you can totally go ahead and add more shadow. It's a lot easier to kind of add more than it is to try and blend away what you've already added to your face. And I'm just going to go in and blend. Let me tell you guys I cut out so much blending from the videos but trust that as I'm applying each shade, I am blending throughout the entire process. Random fact about me, I just feel like saying this, I have freckles on only one of my eyes, and I don't know why, and I don't know why I feel the need to tell you guys that, but yeah, fun fact, I have freckles on this eye, you can kind of see them peeking through, and sometimes they annoy me because I feel like they kind of mess up, like, my eyeshadow, but in a way, they're kind of cool. Anyways, <laughs> back to the tutorial. I am going to go in with the shade that I've been dying to get onto my face, this one right here, queen. And I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that onto my lids, pretty much on the um, first and second third of my lid. I'm leaving the outer corner blank because of course I'm gonna go in with a darker shadow to that area. <sighs> okay, I haven't even applied it onto both my eyes yet, but I'm done. This shadow, <gasps> Damn, I love it. Honestly, I love it. Oh my goodness. Jaclyn Hill. I'm done. I'm so done. That is... Let me shut up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now. Honestly, guys, I can't get over this shadow. Queen was like such a fitting name for it because honestly, it is such a standout on the lids. I'm obsessed. Alrighty, so for the outer corner of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here, Central Park, and I'm using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. I like using soft crease brushes for the outer corners of my eyes whenever I want a really intensely blown out, soft, smoky outer corner, and that's exactly what this is gonna do for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my bottom lash line now. So firstly, I'm going to be taking that shade Creamsicle again and using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush to run that along my lash line. And I'm also really going to smoke it out as well. And then next up, I'm gonna go in with that mocha shade. I'm using the 230 Luxe Pencil Brush from Zoeva. And again, I'm going to run this along my bottom lash line, but keep it much closer to the lashes so it really helps to define the eye. I'm also gonna be taking a teensy little bit of that Central Park shade and I'm gonna go ahead and run that along my bottom lash line as well, but I will be keeping it just to the outer corner of my eyes. At this point, it's pretty much safe to say that this is a very basic bitch, warm, smoky eye kind of look that I've got going on, but I do really want to add a little something, something to it, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade right here, down the end, there she is, Pool Party. I've been dying, dying to use this shade. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Pencil Shader. It's a very tiny, teeny tiny, small, precise brush, as you can see. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and somewhat highlight the inner corner of my eye with this pool party shade. So what I'm gonna do to further intensify it is take the shade Beam. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the shade Beam and kind of add that on top of the pool party shade just to make a real pop in. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly add some of that Beam shade to my brow bone. I'm just using a 235 contour shader brush for this. I normally wouldn't use this brush, but I'm just using whatever's in front of me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to firstly line my tight line. I'm using the NYX pencil. This is just their plain old 
black pencil liner and I'm going to, like I said, tight line my eyes. Now for my waterline, I still want to keep that area nice and bright. So I'm going in with the Rimmel London Waterproof Eye Definer and I'm using the shade in the nude. Now I'm just going to go in and give my lashes a quick coat of mascara. So I have here my fancy tampon looking mascara. I swear, ever since I saw that comment that said it looks like a fancy tampon, every time I use it, that is all I think of. But to be honest guys, this mascara is bomb. I've been using it every single day and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, just giving my lashes a quick coat, top and bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes now and you guys who know me too well, you know which ones I'm gonna use. Queen Bees by Coco Lashes. These are like my go-to lashes, guys. I honestly, like, if you have any suggestions for me as to what you think I might like in terms of fake lashes, then let a girl know because I cannot stop using these. They are amazing. I gotta go ahead and finish off the rest of my face now. So I'm just gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This one is in the shade Dulce de Leche. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face. I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. And I'm just gonna take the contour shade and run that through my cheekbones, around my hairline, along my jawline. And I'm also going to go ahead and contour my nose using my favorite little nose contour brush. It's actually an eye shading brush from Look Good Feel Better, but I just really like to use it to contour my nose with because it's the perfect size. To bronze my face up, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff. Not only does it smell good, but just the tone of this bronzer, like the color is perfect for my skin tone. So I just really love it. And it's a great drugstore bronzer. For blush, I'm not actually gonna be using one. Instead, I'm gonna go in with the Betty Luminizer by The Balm. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of apply that over my cheekbones again. I feel like with the look that I've got going on in my eyes, I don't wanna do anything too intense on my cheeks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this because it is a bronzer, but it has a very beautiful golden sheen to it. So I feel like it would go really nicely with the rest of the look. Now it's time for my favorite part of makeup, which is of course highlighting Z face. So I'm using this highlighter from Jouer. It's their highlighter in the shade Citrine. Super, super intense, you guys. So a little does go a long way. And as usual, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush. This is the A23 brush. And yeah, just gonna go to town on my face and give myself that glow. For my lips, yes, I'm going with the nude. I always like nudes they they call my name so first of all i'm gonna go ahead and line using the mac lip liner in strip down and then i'm just gonna go in with the dose of colors liquid lipstick in sand this is a very intense nude whenever i'm not sure how a lip color is going to look on me i firstly like to kind of dab it onto my lips and then blend it in using my finger because then it's not so intense and opaque and you can kind of get a gauge for what kind of intensity you want the lip color to be on your lips I actually really like how that lip color turned out and you could totally keep it like this, but because I like to have glossy lips so they look nice and juicy, I'm going to go in with the Joyce of Colors Lip Gloss in Undressed. This is a very pigmented and intense gloss, so it is very opaque in color, but if you kind of just dab it on and blend it in, it makes for a really nice wash of gloss on the lips. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. I'm obsessed with how it turned out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you are new here and you're not subscribed and you're still watching, you may as well hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos I post. As always, I will list all of the products that I used throughout the video down below in the description box where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you wanna follow me on any of those, all the good stuff is down below. Also, if you have any requests for any kind of looks or tutorials or even just videos in general that you want me to do, comment them down below. As always, I will chat to you guys down in the comments. I hope you are all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.